Hello, welcome to The Vital Truth. I'm Ronnie. I'm going to be talking today concerning humbling yourself and trusting in Jesus and not man. You know, I, I've been around quite a while and I have I've had my ups and downs. I've uh, been up and I've been down, you know, and it's took, uh, it takes a while to learn to lean on Jesus. If you're trusting in man, then you're going to come up short, folks. How many out there that's listening to me right now has put their trust in somebody other than Jesus Christ? Well, anytime you do that, you're going to wind up a loser. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He don't change. In Him, in Him is no variableness, neither a shadow of turning. And we're complete in Him, which is ahead of all principality and power. Now, man would try to make you believe that they have the answers. You probably uh, got uh, computer mail from religious organizations uh, wanting you to order their books and paperwork. And ten easy steps to receiving the Holy Ghost. Ten easy steps to Christ. Well, let me tell you, the only way that I found out to get to Jesus Christ is the knee route. Uh, you can read all the books you want to in the world. You can have a bookcase full of all kinds of different authors. But if you don't have Jesus in your heart, then you're not going to know the exact truth. Man has an angle. God don't. Man has an agenda. God don't. Man is deceiving. God is the truth. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And I know... Uh, personally, from my own personal experience. Every time I've trusted in man, I've been let down. Uh, if you got one friend, you're a blessed man. If you got two, you are du you're double blessed. So, in order to be sure and know that you're standing on the right path, is get into Jesus Christ. Now, man will try to convince you that they have all the answers. Now, there's a lot of bickering on YouTube. There's a lot of uh, controversy on the rapture and all this. That is petty. Uh, it don't matter when the rapture is going to take place. It don't matter. Be ready whenever it is. And there's fighting going on day in and day out. A pre, pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib. Who cares? We know that it's going to happen. Uh, Paul made it very clear that in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, uh, we're going to be called up to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. People is majoring on minors. They're fighting on petty stuff that don't mount the hill of mean. Anyone that's not pointing you to Jesus Christ, anyone that's not uh, leading you directly to Jesus Christ, if they're trying to get any glory or trying to uh, put their doctrines or their commandments on you, run from them. Go to Jesus. And that's why that on YouTube, if somebody's not pointing you to Jesus, get away from them. Watch somebody that is because they're, they're going to be the ones to watch. The ones that's talking about Jesus, leading you to Jesus, and pointing you in that direction. And so you got people out here today that's making uh, tons of money. There is big business in, in uh, Christianity. If you want to be uh, that kind of individual, because uh, people, a lot of people is gullible, especially them that don't have the Holy Spirit. You can talk them into practically anything you want to, and they'll you can lead them around like by put a ring in their nose and lead them around. But you know what? There's only one sure way to know where you stand, and that's Jesus Christ. Second Chronicles says, If my people which are called by my name, number one is humble yourself. Number two is seek his face and pray. Humble yourself and pray. Then seek his face. Turn from your wicked ways. Then he said, I'll hear from heaven, forgive your sin, and heal your land. There are no other way. And so you got, you, you got, you got people out here that's uh, laying sick. Uh, they're they're devastated, they're uh, depressed, they stay oppressed. Why? Because they're trusting in man. Man is trying to tell them the way to do things. Folks, Jesus is alive and well. He said, hey, I am he that was dead, but I'm alive now, and I'm alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and hell. No man does. 
I mean, I respect people, you know, I mean, and I listen to people. But if it don't correspond with what the Spirit has showed me or what the Scripture says, then I let it go in one year and out the other. And folks, you want to get healed? You want to get well? Totally get people out of your mind. Get them totally out of your mind. Get in you a prayer closet. And Jesus said, if you will pray in secret, he'll reward you openly. If you fast in secret, he'll reward you openly. If you, if you give in secret, he'll reward you openly. Don't let your left hand know what your right one's doing. Don't trust in man. Man don't need to know your affairs between you and Jesus Christ. It's a personal thing. You know, you tell one person one thing and pretty soon he'll get all over the country. Uh, people can't keep a secret, but God can. And he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Folks, let me tell you something. Nothing that you and I can do, God will do as he will. You say, well, why can't I get healed? Well, I don't know the mind of God in your life. I know the mind of God in my life. He shows me things. It's a personal thing. I can't tell you. Only thing I can do to just tell you right now is go to Jesus. Go straight to Jesus. Don't listen to nobody. Go and pray and seek. If He said, seek him early while he may be found. Don't put this off because the enemy is as a roaring lion roaming to and fro in the earth seeking whom he may devour. But Jesus come that we can have life and have it more abundantly. Now people will tell you anything in the world. You ever been in prayer lines and churches where that 40 or 50 people's all gathered around you and every one of them saying something else, let go, hold on, do this, do that. And you know what? It keeps you confused. People, Jesus said to get in your prayer closet. I'm not against you if you go to church praying, that's fine. But when I want to get a hold of God, I go to nobody but Jesus Christ. I get in my, get in my bedroom or I'll, I can, I've even sat in my truck. I've been on the way to work many a time and prayed a prayer of faith and God would move. It don't matter where you are. You can make a prayer closet wherever you are. Just don't trust in man. Anyone that's not pointing you straight to Jesus, get away from them. Run from them. Don't have nothing to do with them because they've got an agenda. Something is not right. Man wants to prove themselves right. But uh, let every man be a liar. But let God be the truth. When you do that, you are on the right trail, friend. You are uh, building your faith on a solid foundation. Praise God. Cursed is a man that trusted that man and make it flash his arm. Well, you'd be like the heath in the desert. You won't even see when good comes. Everything will go wrong. But Lord, listen. Since I started getting in tune with God, it took me a long time. I, I don't count myself to have apprehended this. But one thing I know, I'm forgetting what's behind me and reaching forth to the things which are before me and I'm pressing towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I, don't, I can't change the past. You can't change the past. If you're sick in body right now, if you're sick in body, I'll agree with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be ye healed right now. If you are depressed, I rebuke depression on you right now. If you're oppressed, then I rebuke oppression and shake yourself off. Arise and go to Jesus. He will embrace you in his arms. Oh, yes, sir. That's the way to do it. Go to Jesus. Let, look at the shape our country's in. Look at the shape the world's in. Man, don't have the answer. If they had the answer, things would be running smooth as a single sewing machine. They don't have the answer. And it won't be right until the Lord makes it right, friend. In your life, in your state, in your city, in the, in the whole uh, nation, or in the world, Jesus Christ is the only one that can make things right. Man don't have the answer. Everything they try fails. They keep adding on, trying this. This don't work. Let's try this. Folks, if God's not in it, it won't work anyway. In your life or whatever, the government, whatever, he, if God, wherever God is, there is no need because he supplies the needs. But you've got people out there thinking they're so smart. Uh, they profess themselves to be wise, yet they become fools. Why? Because they're leaving God out of the picture. He's personal, friends. You're unique. I'm unique. I can't go uh, and, and, and talk to God for you. I can pray for you. But you've got to work your own soul salvation out with fear and trembling. Why? Because he's a personal God. He said, whosoever will, let him come and take of the waters of life freely. He will in no wise cast you out. If you're sick of body, if you have a need today, 
Don't trust man. Listen, bow your heart before God. He don't. He's not interested in your big fancy words. Talk to him like you would uh, uh, somebody that's close to you, your friend, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad. Just go to him as you are and say, Father, you know where I'm at right now. And you said I have not because I ask not. Now, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus, would you reveal yourself to me right now? And I am sick in body, and I need you to heal my body right now. I'm not looking to man. I'm looking to you, Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of my faith. He's my God. He's your God. He's my God. He's your God. He's personal. And he'll never, he'll never, he'll never embarrass you. He'll never expose you. You can tell all your secrets to Jesus Christ, and he'll keep the secrets. He may put it on someone's heart to pray for you. Oh, that's how the Holy Ghost works. But let me tell you something. You can trust him until the end. He said, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Make no mistake, friend. Man does not have the answer. If you have any need in your life right now, I don't care what it is. It don't matter what your need is. He knows what you have need of even before you ask. But you're trying to impress him with your attitudes, actions, behaviors, or you're so holy, holy. Man, you can't get good enough to get to God. Our righteousness are as filthy rags. I don't care how you dress, what you wear, or what you look like. He told them Pharisees, he said, well, you look good on the outside. You look like you're real holy, but inside you're whited sepulchers. You're full of dead men's bones. And he told, he told us, he said, except your righteousness exceed that of the Pharisees, you're not going to enter into heaven. Never. You've got to bury yourself before God. You've got to be, you've got to just lay down before God and say, God, here I am. I mean, tear me up, make me into what you want me to be. You're the potter and I'm the clay. And when you do that from your heart, See, the heart, God is a heart God. He's not a flash God. People trying to doctor this flash up, trying to please God. Why, he's 100% heart God. And when you get your heart right, the flesh will take care of itself, man. You'll bring it under subjection. No wonder. And these people at, uh, are making good their outer body, and inside they live like hell. Their mind is always on evil, continually, always thinking evil. But you know what? God knows he's a heart God. So therefore, I encourage you today, go to Jesus. Don't trust nobody. Tire them computer mails you get up. Tire all them letters up you get. I want you to donate money. If you want to donate money, go to God. He'll tell you who to give to and when to give it and how much. My goodness, these people's laughing all the way to the bank because of, of a bunch of so-called gullible Christians. They think they're done God a big deal by sending a thousand dollars. I could, you know, if I wanted to be a crook, I probably could be a crook. But it ain't in my bones to be a crook. I could sit there and tell you, God just showed me at five hundred you people sitting out there. God just told me for you to send me a thousand dollars a piece, and He'll bless you a hundredfold. You know what? It's a lie from hell. If you're not given because God told you to give, you're not even in, you, you. You're out of order completely. Give as the Lord instructs you to give. And they yeah, and say, Lord, listen, uh, if you don't give, you're robbing God. Let me tell you something. The Holy Ghost knows where the need is. Man don't. God knows where the need is. And he'll tell you what to give and how much. Well, bless your hearts today. You have a good day and may Jesus bless you. Bye. Bye.